Here is the, uh, <laughs> it's a low friction torso arm. One of the machines that really uh, was worth the little bit of refurbishing that I did to it, I actually did a lot to it. Stainless 316 collars and all kind of replaced all the bearings and actually there's a screw loose down there. There's, uh, these are all 316 uh, fasteners and um, yeah, just an awesome back machine. Definitely belongs on the cost no object list. And I'd highly recommend getting these if you can and refurbishing them. So there's the usual hammer strength with the chest pad modification and the David machine with the, uh, it's like a reverse pec deck. Great for the rhomboids, very unique machine. And I'm still working on the Excalibur. And uh, of course I'm moving stuff around too. I've got everything on wheels here. But it's the uh, MedX Avenger. And uh, redid all the bolts in stainless 316. So did my little bit of mini refurbishing on this piece in the sense of replacing all the bolts. So all stainless 316 fasteners on there too. Um, yeah, this thing is in 10 out of 10. So this is the uh, UCS nine and a half foot tower worth every penny and highly recommend people get these. This place is a mess. Um, totally adjustable, start position. Everybody should have that feature. It's just amazing. It makes it good for any kind of attachment, either for back or triceps. And of course the, uh, uh, looks like I have the Strive attachments on there. Can't say I'm the biggest fan of those attachments, but um, anyways, just in the process of getting all the, uh, still the best attachment I've come across for triceps is the Panada, which now has the, uh, the adjustable eye hook in it in the, in the beginning. So it's, uh, let's see. Anyways, definitely the best attachment I've ever come across for triceps. And uh, I highly recommend if people come across this piece too, it's the old flex leverage uh, lap pull down plate loaded version. I've used this selectorized in the past at various Crunch gyms and Gold's gyms. Ah, and here is the new uh, massive lap pull down from uh, Panada. So you can have a bunch of different grip choices. Did you try the neutral grip? No. Try the neutral grip once. And uh, this one? Well, yeah, try overhead, try close, wide, and try that, that neutral grip We're like really close together too. It's awesome. And uh, neutral? Yeah, try that. Well, not really. Yeah, just try that grip too. Try it when it's try it a little bit closer toward the top, like grip it a little bit higher up, yeah. so it comes more straight down. Yeah, try that one. Yeah, and try leaning forward just a little bit once, just to see, because you can. Depends on how you like it. You can really. This thing's just awesome. Wow, that really activates. Man. Yeah, really this is my favorite lap machine I've ever come across so far. It basically gives you the advantages of all the low friction torso arm, except you get divergence a bunch of different grip choices and you get to hold yourself in with knee pads. So, uh, and tons of weight, literally tons of weight. Uh, it's a huge weight stack and the nice part is it comes in five kilogram increments. So you have a lot of choice without uh, huge travel, travel room on the stack. So uh, yeah, you've got a ton of grip choices, by far my favorite lap, lap machine I've ever used. So, um, what else we got over here? Yeah, we have the uh, Panada High Row and uh, the plate loaded version of the pull down. So I pretty much come to reach the end of this project in terms of lap machines and uh, back machines. Um,